Kent, talk a little bit about you, your background, and how you got into real estate. Kent Wheelock, as you said, originally born and raised in Illinois, not too far from here. Right out of high school, I joined the Army. You know, I, I, I felt the need for a higher calling. I've always had a spirit of service. So I joined the Army. Just like a lot of folks, I had no intentions of staying for a long time. You know, four years was it. I was going to go sure. get the experience, maybe get some college, figure out what I wanted to do with my life, and then get out. Well, that turned into 22 years of, of an Army career. Didn't go as planned, right? Things changed. Uh, got married in the Army, had a couple kids. We're Retired in 2008 here at Fort Leonard Wood. Uh, we decided this is where we wanted to be. We actually met here and got married on Fort Leonard Wood. Wow. And uh, decided to come that. back. Yeah, 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 long time ago. So we came back. I worked for about another 13 years for the Army on post as a contractor, Department of the Army civilian. And somewhere along the line, I just, uh, I just stopped having fun. Sure. Right? You know, I don't regret any decisions I made in the Army. The jobs I, I held were great. Met some great folks along the line. I'm still great friends with, with those folks and keep in contact with them. So it was, it was a fantastic uh, experience for me. But I just hit a, a a brick wall where, you know, my last job I had, I was no longer having fun. You know, I'd, I'd get up in the morning and just dread the day ahead. I just absolutely mm-hmm. dreaded it, you know. And my bosses saw that. My peers saw that. My my subordinates saw that. And that's never good when it's, yep. when it's that evident. In, you know, and it, it was really taking a toll on, on my personal life. Sure. Uh, me personally and and the relationship with my family. So I knew something had to change along the way. Um, so I had been contemplating a, a career change. I uh, didn't know what it was going to be. But one day, I think, Matt, I've told you before that I secretly stalked Matt Smith Real Estate Group for <laughs> some time uh, on Facebook and other social media platforms. I came across, probably through Facebook, a all or nothing podcast and the subject was was the power list. Yeah. And that struck a nerve with me and it came at just the right time for me because I needed something like that. So then I became a huge fan. Every Friday I looked forward to the podcast and I was listening to it religiously. I had several friends here at Matt Smith Real Estate Group that worked here. Talked to them all. They were very happy, seemed content, loved what they did on a daily basis. So I said, you know what? This could be it for me. Yeah. This might be the future for me. So, you know, I, I, I thought about it for several months and probably the thing that put me over the top was um, I attended a webinar hosted by you and Lauren. It was a day in the life of a real estate agent yep. in a luxury market at the, at the Lake of the Ozarks. So I really had no idea what an agent did up to that point. I bought a couple homes, but didn't yep. have a lot of experience. So I attended that and, you know, I, I, I told myself, you know what, I can do this. So I, I texted Lauren right afterwards and said, Lauren, I'm, I'm on board. I think I'm the right fit for, for Matt Smith Real Estate Group and Matt Smith Real Estate Group is the right fit for me. Love Let's it. do this. So I went through, you know, I put an application, went through several interviews, and uh, here I am today. Dude, I love it. I love it. That's an amazing story. 